How would you assess the rehabilitation here in the Philippines? I think it's, it's uh, getting well now. It's not well organized. Uh, I saw a, n a number of uh, progress uh, on the ground there. And also here in, in, in Manila, there's some, already some consolidation among the government departments and agencies, okay? And I think it's a good sign for a well-coordinated program. How do you find the powers given to Secretary Lacson? Well, uh, it's weak. It's weak. Because uh, for such a huge job like that, uh, just to coordinate without any real power to enforce, to implement, it, it's going to be tough. But with all the support with other departments, agencies, then he can be very successful. What would you suggest to the Philippine government? Well, I'd like to suggest that uh, Secretary Ping is given more power. Okay? More power, uh, budgetary power, implementation power, coordination power, and also uh, a kind of uh, uh, a freedom uh, from the standard accounting auditing mechanism, okay? Because things are, can be uh, slower by all this uh, accounting uh, uh, procedure that was developed in normal time. Why? Uh, how important is this account, the power over the accounting procedure? In your case? In my case, in some area, I don't have to go through a bidding process. I can direct, select contractors to build houses. That's for example. Okay? And in a number of uh, cases, I give freedom to the uh, foreign NGO to do construction through their own governance mechanism. Okay. Without those powers, would you have accepted the job? Uh, when it comes to that kind of power, then maybe I have to say it over again. Okay. Is it non-negotiable for you? Non-negotiable. That is. That is. When it comes to bidding process. And I, if I do, I'm not allowed uh, for uh, direct selecting a contractor, then it will take more time because I will need more time for the bidding process. So it will take more time for him, for Big Lapsor? Yes. Yes. If I have to go through all this bidding process, all the procurement process, all the auditing mechanism, then it will, for sure it will take much more time for Ping to do the job. What's just one one piece of uh, advice for the Philippine government in general? What's one big piece of advice you would give? Give uh, coordination power to Secretary Peng. Give budgetary power to Secretary Peng. Give uh, coordination. Uh, enforcement power, okay, and to coordinate budget coming uh, through other ministers or else secretaries or else. I think that's all that's uh, needed uh, uh, for time being. Okay, but along the way, if there are some uh, uh, other factors needed, okay, then the government, the president, uh, are flexible. Is flexible to provide this as what needed by Secretary Peng. Because doing this reconstruction, you cannot have a perfect plan in the beginning. Everything should be based on uh, sometimes, okay, plan as you progress. Okay. One last question about the foreign aid. Because so, so far we've only gotten 20% of the cash through ledges and you managed 90, 92%, no? Yeah, yeah. How well, well, the most important thing for the for the foreign trust, uh, foreign uh, uh, what do you call it uh, NGO is trust. Okay? If they, you have a high trust, then for sure the money will flow in. And trust means transparency, a good reporting mechanism, 
uh, a good uh, ethics, work ethics, integrity, pact sign, this kind of things. Uh, and without those powers of Ping Lakson, how can he how can he enforce the integrity of the whole process? How can he uh, enforce transparency in the process? Because he has to deal with other agencies. So it also affects aid, foreign aid. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Because for sure, no, no uh, source of funds uh, wants the funds be corrupted for the reconstruction. Okay, because because it's donation. Okay, and they don't want to be corrupted. Okay?